Hello everyone from Mysterious Russia and welcome to my channel. Sorry for being a little bit off. I was honestly so absorbed and overwhelmed with everything was happening in the world. And of course, I don't want this channel to be like political or to debate or to thread each other or to like hate each other. This is definitely not the point of anything I do. I really want like to build a community. I really want people like to equally respect each other. I do respect all people no matter of uh, their uh, race, no matter of their heritage, no matter of the country they're born because I'm not like a crazy person, I understand. We do not choose the place where we are born. We don't like, you know, sign something. Okay, where you would like to be born? Mm, I think I would like to be born in North Korea. <laughs> I mean, none of us decide uh, where we are born and which family we have. Like spiritually, you could say like we choose, you know, to go through the past, but actually logically and uh, yeah, in the moment we cannot like really choose anything like that. And that's why I completely respect <laughs> uh, humanity. I. I do not stereotype different nations. I, I wasn't raised in such environment. And also when I, I went uh, to the university, I studied with like 134 different nationalities. And I have people, like I have friends and people I know from all over really the world, from so many countries. I really want to have like a very loving community. And today I wanted to talk about how my um, life changed uh, as a, a Russian artist because there have been like so many deal breakers and so many like um, strong saying from the West, you know, like lots of stuff happening. So for me as an artist, I used to sell my art abroad and I have this mindset, you know, to kind of spread love, spread uh, good vibes and send like this um, love to another country. So like person put the art and really enjoy it. And I really want like each of my art piece to bring like some happiness, some joy, the family to home but now like um, all the marketplaces uh, kind of in US and Europe been close to me and my accounts have been restricted so those company completely betrayed my trust in them I completely understand I don't hate them for that uh, but of course I need to readjust and change the tactics of my business of um, how I gonna sell my art and um, happily I'm in Russia and Russia has a very very strong marketplace and I never like focus on like inside market as I told you I was always kind of admiring and really like connecting with people from different nationalities different countries and I never like uh, really put the time to make strategies to sell within the country but here is like lots of opportunities here we have like uh, very uh, strong platforms as strong as Etsy, Amazon and uh, many other platform eBay here we have our own version and it's not like something happened you know last month they've been developing those uh, platforms for many many years and they're very like good advanced strong legit like really good and now I just need to readjust my business um, within the country and find you know like my way of marketing the products um, continuing creation of the products so it's it's not like a really big deal it's not like a life or a death situation definitely not no, the same is like art supplies um, Russia is I guess one of the leading countries for the art. Russian place in art is very very strong and St. Petersburg is the hub of the artist and there is like lots of great supplies which is well known among artists uh, all over the world. There is like one of the best watercolors, uh, there is like one of the best universities in St. Petersburg. So we will not be running um, out of any 
art supplies but for some art supplies probably the price uh, gonna be a little bit higher uh, if you want to buy like maybe some French products, Italian products, there is like a very good uh, Italian paper like to to draw. I prefer more than Russian because maybe I just never consider. I just thought like how cool, very like high quality Italian paper to get the best for my clients. So yeah, but of course there is like lots of different stuff and different tools. Uh, so it's not gonna be like really... Uh, deal breaker type of thing. It's not the situation as in pandemia where the shops just closed and you have no chance to buy. Here, okay, maybe price for some of the things slightly higher, but it's not like really so dramatic as probably present to you in like However, there is like one funny thing already happening in Russia. We run out of, of uh, printing paper because um, apparently the um, uh, chemical solution to bleach the paper was coming from Europe, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, we ran out of that solution and we ran out of printing paper and uh, paper for the cashier machine. It's I found it's quite uh, funny and also like airplane tickets. Uh, now finally our government accepted the e-version of that, so kind of the the mobile version which is also cool and uh, in the store like you can get like e receipt rather than like a paper receipt but it's also not a huge problem because already like few days ago uh, russian scientists like uh, chemists they found the formula to do their own solution to bleach the paper so all the supplies will be in place it was just, you know, kind of uh, with all the shock and instability in the world. It was like a little gap, but it's already been fixed. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have the paper, <laughs> bleached paper. That's not gonna be the issue. But yeah, in general, like people here, uh, they're taken by complete surprise, nobody expected anything like that happen. And people experience, of course, like a shock, of course, lots of changes. I think like any type of changes, it's always, um, it's a stressful thing, whatever, like big or small changes in like economy, in, uh, in the world, in the globe, it's a stressful stuff. And lots of people are just, you know, getting through the difficult times and i'm not only talking about like russian people also like in europe lots of like simple family uh, who has nothing to do with anything like politics or anything like that just trying to survive and trying to put one feet in front of the other and just go through the next day and uh, i completely understand all points and i really stand with the humanity I hope, um, I hope we will come into the peace and really work on mutual benefits of living in peace and joy and collaborating with each other. Uh, maybe it's like a little bit utopian kind of thing, but still, let's let's be hopeful. And I'll be sharing more of uh, inside things what's really happening in Russia and of course I will be sharing like some of the art with you what I've been creating uh, some recipes so as long as I can upload the videos on YouTube I will be doing so I don't know if uh, this platform gonna be banned or something I cannot like guarantee of course but from my side I guarantee you to share the point of view of Russian and to share like what's really happening in Russia, uh, being unbiased and just share the reality, like what people feel, what people think, what people experience in these difficult times. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, put the thumbs up and comment uh, below the video which kind of content you would like to see. So thank you so much, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!